Well, here we are. Video two on the same thing. My camera is trying to rotate and won't rotate. So it is rotated now. I am going to start over. I did, um, this is in the book. worlds of wonder and we are now working on the moth to match up with the page of the bird so we're using pastels and um, I'm going to color the other side the body and do some of this other, um, just to show you how I did it. And the first thing we're going to start with is the body. And we're going to see how we're going to make that work out to match up the rest of it. I love the colors. I left enough of it undone so that you can see even a corner of the uh, book here we left one so I can show you how to do those and uh, we're going to get started because it takes a while on these videos so let me make sure I get centered where you're seeing it all okay so what are we going to do let me move my pencils over here where I can find what I need. So we're, we're, we're using Castle Art pastels on some of it. And this one is Blue Poppy, number 34. Um, I'm not sure that's the one I've been using. Maybe it is. Okay. And then we're going to use a pink. There's a jelly bean pink. It's a brighter pink or in the center. And there's a pretty pink. Um, it's a uh, number 11 foxglove. This Inca gold 18. And remember, any of the colors, um, just match them up. I can't hardly see. Saffron? Uh, oh, 003. Okay. And this is kind of a orangey yellow. And then out of just the regular um, Castle Art, I'm using a, a light purple, a purple light. And it is, as you can see, the purpley color. So these are the colors that we're using um, to work on this. So I have a handful of pencils and I am going to lay some of them down. And I think what I see right away is I'm going to start with, with the head. I'm going to just fill in the edges. And around the top and I have to keep telling myself don't press hard that's why I hold my pencil back farther I actually made the end of my thumb sore I have little pads that I put on <laughs> they look weird but they work they're real soft and uh, you just pop them on your on your finger you get quite a few of them for like ten dollars and it gives you a cushion so I was looking for something, and then I rub my little finger, so it helps. So I'm just going to keep darkening around the edge. 
and get this kind of back up there just a little bit around the top and then I'm just gonna lighten it like that and then you got that little highlight because if you just barely go over it it's going to um, uh, pop out nice and I'm going to decide what to do with this eyeball later so I think everything is pink and blue and yellow so it's just a matter of working down oh I got an idea with his eyes we're gonna put the dark purple like that leave just a little bit of light like that and then uh, we'll take um, the pink and we'll just lightly fill it up okay so I think that worked good okay so we're also gonna come in here with the pink and this little spot here And fill it in so we got the pink and blue so let's take <clears throat> what color should we use now I think I'm gonna come back to the blue fill in this little side pocket Okay, I think in this area, I'm going to go ahead with the ink of gold and fill this in. So there's not so much color because the wings are already n n very colorful. I really enjoyed um, these colors. And I forgot that I even did anything in this book until I picked it up again and so um, I love the colors and I'm just filling this in nice and full because I'm going to use a darker just like you would if you were making gold. Something looks shiny and gold. I, I use a, let's see if this is it, a harvest gold. And this is metallic. And so I'm just going to highlight just a little bit, see? Just a little bit of, just to give it some depth and I press pretty good on there so I want to just kind of lighten it up as I go out and come down a little more so if you were making gold making something look shiny you would start with a darker color on either side and then just like we're doing here a lighter color you want it to look like it's shiny so you just mix these two go all the way back up to the top of this darker color like that bring this down and in the center of course we wouldn't have had this filled in yet but you just add your lightest color so you pick three different colors Remember, don't wipe it with your hand because there's little crumbs and I'm trying to learn very hard because sometimes you miss it. But uh, use a, this is, this is a mop brush for painting, um, but you can get those large makeup brushes that are real fluffy. Just go to Walmart, get you one of them. And just brush the stuff off and it, it comes right off it doesn't leave a mess and so that's what we're doing here I might even on his little head here 
just a little bit on the sides, darken it, bring it up, and uh, then we'll want to take our, this, this is blending pretty good with this Inca Gold. But see, you just you just want to take your pencil where you stopped and come back in and just kind of blend. Although it's it's blended quite well. So, but it just keeps it from looking like you just stopped. So that looks pretty good. Okay. So I think also. We're going to come down into these spots here and do the gold. And we'll come back in with the darker color and fill that in. Makes it really pretty. We're not taking away from all the color in the wings. By making his body a little different. But we're sticking with all the colors that we're using only on these two pages, which makes it very cohesive where things are um, blending well. And when you get to this page after you're done with it and you look at it, it's going to be like, it'll just be a pleasant thing to look at. <laughs> I like pleasant things to look at. I don't know about you, but... And there's different colors that I really enjoy. Um, so with coloring, you can kind of use a lot of different colors. So I'm trying to just blend this in right here. Okay, made it just a little darker than... So you just kind of have to keep going over it until it gets as dark as you want it to be. Okay. And I probably should have sharpened my pencil. But I'm staying in the lines. So that means I'm okay. If a sharpened pencil is sharp enough, it gives it, for some reason, it puts down more color. So th this is um, a rounded edge for me. It just seems to work nice, and I don't have the tendency to. I'm just going to put a little bit on the edges. I'm going to take my, come back to my uh, ink of gold. And I'm going to start from the top of where they are and come back around. And there we go. Start from the top and pull down. Because what you're doing is you're kind of burnishing with this color and spreading out that color too. And it's instead of your blender pencil or whatever blender that you choose to use they have lots of them i have alcohol ink ones i have the blender pencil and there we go so that part's done so i think Let's try just darkening this little spot up with this gold. It's a different shade, so it won't be trying to hide and blend in with the top color. So to fill in, you kind of got to go back and forth, round and round in a small area, and you will fill it in. Now if you want to highlight and you messed up, you can uh, use your um, eraser, and you can take out a, a spot. 
and usually I'm not pressing hard I'm just pressing lightly and you've got it so it won't take out everything and you just kind of come back in and use your color to just blend that to where you've got a highlight so a lot of times I was told on YouTube <laughs> this is probably your best friend as far as highlights and, and it does work really nicely sometimes because the color doesn't totally go but um, rather than trying to just make it a light color this works out really well so now I think what next uh, we're going to do I'm trying to think of how to make this body we I don't want to use a lot of these colors I just want to come in and um, fill his body in more than when you know just a, a few same colors because then it won't take away from his wings and it won't look like in such a um, overwhelming lots and lots of colors which is is fine too but I think I'll do the center And because this is a lighter color, it will pick up some of your edge of your other color. So I did it right there. But it's not that noticeable. Okay. That looks pretty good, huh? All right, so let's take our, our gold. Let me sharpen it. Because I'm going to get in, in a, a small area. And just kind of put a little bit of this gold in here. And I'll come back with my yellow and, and work it a little more. And I am pressing down to get it over the top. Maybe do a little bit of shading up here. Bring it down on the Bring our yellow back in. And just kind of burnish it to, because uh, you're using a lighter color. So it's going to kind of pull it around a little bit. And it kind of darkens. this okay maybe I'll do a little bit of this gold just back and forth it's not going to be a lot because there's The sides a little bit. I think we'll call that okay. So now we're going to come down into here and just a little bit shade it just a little bit just so it looks like. 
the more you add shading, the better it looks. It just gives it more dimension. It just causes things to start standing out. All right, now, what color do we want to make? The back end of his body. I don't know if I want to go pink. Well, let's try it. But we won't make it all different color pinks. Like, we're just going to come down. And I can also tell you to be careful with lotion on your hands. If you need lotion, put it on earlier. Let it absorb because if you get it on your paper, sometimes it can make um, almost like a little grease spot where it, it, your colors won't work out like you want them to. Yeah. I think that looks fine, don't you? And then we could go back to and just barely highlight the edges. Okay, just a little bit. I keep thinking, happy tree, happy tree, like the happy painter. <laughs> Make him a happy bug. Just just a little bit. Just to break up some of that pink and give it just a little bit of shadowing. I like this. I like what his body's looking like. Little bit on his bottom of his tail, tiny bit there, and tiny bit there. Okay, I like it. So now let's start with these wings. Oops. And let's see what we can do here. So the first color is the gold. Ink of gold, and we're going to go all the way around. Okay, so we've already got one side just to duplicate it. Um, that's why I never put my pencils away. Always put them in a jar until I'm totally done. And then usually I use them to start another project <laughs> until I get tired and decide I just need to use something different. Let's try a different different color, different uh, pencil. Okay, so we got that, and we'll come back later and do a little of the gold highlighting. So for now, we're going to need our dark pink. And what I did, I'm going to turn my book sideways. And make sure I'm in the frame. Okay. So, now I took the blue 
and I colored I'm thinking this isn't the right blue let's try this other blue yeah I think this is the blue that I used okay so I just filled in these That'll all blend in anyway. Okay. And I took my slid down. So let's just make sure we're in the frame. We're doing good, huh? All right. It's leaning up against my computer screen is what's going on. So then I took and I around where the little slashes are and I went around that. Okay. And then I came back and I just very lightly started pulling the color into the blue. Very lightly. So that you're just barely getting some of that color in there and then when you go back with your I, I went back with my burnishing pencil by uh, Prisma it's got like a um, it's like a hard plastic um, lead in it and it sharpens and you just come in and you just work whoops work this color kind of back and it just softens it in and I don't want to go all the way to the edge so you want to start where uh, the lightest color and then work your way back to the darkest color okay so Again, lightly. Okay. You don't have to do that. Like now you can finish your picture and then come back. And that's what I did here is I came back and then I burnished uh, and blended the edges. But sometimes it's good to do it as you go along because you can see what, what it's going to look like. See, it just softens the edges so nicely. You can get the paper um, ones. They have paper ones. You can use white, but white will make your color um, lighter. And uh, so then we, a lighter color blue, a lighter color purple, any light color you can use to, to burnish with too. And then we use the yellow. I love this color yellow. The only bad thing about Castle Art um, and any other, I have the metallic, I have these pastels. A friend of mine bought them for my birthday, I think. I don't remember what it was. And um, what a sweet friend, huh? And, and then um, and then the castle art, you can't buy them separately. You either buy the whole kit or you can't buy them separately. And I would think, because I really like these, I, I really do like these, these pencils and they're like, 
uh, $50 for a huge set, which is pretty good. At first, I, you know, I listened to so many videos, and I thought, okay, see, now I pulled the yellow into this, or, and the pink down into this, and now I've kind of lost my color. So, let's see if we can take it back. We're taking it back. We're taking back our color. Okay? So, let's start again. That's why I should be paying more attention to what I'm doing, too. Okay, see that? That fixed that just fine. So this time we'll be just a little more careful. It's just a little bit. Okay. So you don't want to go too far when you're burnishing. And they absolutely don't have to do this. I mean, it, it looked okay the other way too. So now we're just going to come down here and fill in with the blue. Make sure I got the right blue. Yeah, it's not the light blue. And we're just gonna fill in this part of his wings. And you don't have to press hard, and I'm saying that because I'm telling that to myself. Because it's got plenty of pigment in these pencils. It's not like the dollar store pencils or something. I've heard of people getting some pretty good deals on pencils there too. People use a lot of different things and different kinds. You don't have to have. I, I recommend if you're just starting, just, just get yourself the best that you can get and the most that you can get for what you've got. And just, just go from there. I found by listening to so many of my favorite youtuber colorist that they when i first started they had every color i mean er, not every color but it, it seemed like they had you know several brands so i thought i had to have several brands and and you don't all you need is one nice set and i think for me castle art i could have stopped there and it would have been just fine, but that's okay. I do, I really do enjoy the Prisma, and I love um, the, um, I need to sharpen this pencil. If, I wish I had something that would make it stay there. If you're sharpening it by hand, and the reason I am is, do you see how the lead is starting to go this way? And what you need to do, I need a piece of paper. Okay. What you need to do is uh, find the right end of your pencil sharpener. <laughs> and, and you need to use a pencil sharpener. And actually, this looks like a little cheap, but it's it's a very good one. You can get, it, get them with a double for a large hole, small hole. And since you only use the small, when it starts getting dull, you can switch the blades over so it's like you've gotten um, double. So what you want to do is move your pencil sharpener around, not your pencil. And it will do uh, much better as far as uh, breaking the points and all that kind of stuff. That does sharpen it nice. See how it took took all that off. Now, the thing is, is I, I will be able to use my pencil sharpener next time. And um, it, it will sharpen it just fine. Okay, back. So when you got a sharp point, you really don't want to press hard. 
because you can snap that little point off real easy. But it still lays down lots and lots of color. Just make sure when you're doing larger areas, take little strokes. You can do little circles. The main thing is you just want it to look smooth. You don't want it to look like you can see all the lines. And sometimes you just do and you have to go back and you have to blend some of this out. So now we're going to put the yellow and the blue kind of got distorted. Or did I do pink? I think I just did yellow and the pink kind of covered it up. Excuse me. I bought a bag of dirt at dollar store and it, uh, I opened it up and huh, all these little gnats flew out of it. I quickly closed it, threw it out. It was not a good thing in any shape, way or form. So I've been fighting those to get rid of them again and I just don't know where they're at. Every once in a while, I want to pop up. I'm like, go away. You're not welcome in my house. All right, let's see. Now we're going to go back to... They're all the way over here. Okay, here it is. Oh, I didn't check to see if I was back in frame. Of course, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> so now we're going to go all around the edges again. And what I did was went back and forth quite a bit to get some color down and then lightly get into the blue and I think I went across nope I didn't so I went around the edge and I'm going to make some little tiny circles to get around that little thing okay and then I'm going to come back down and Make it a little bit heavier and then come out really light because I'm, I'm going to come back in and burnish it My, so I don't need a lot. Okay. So there's the little dots on this one. And we're just ignoring the little things on the corner. And I'm going to come back down. And I'm going to go back and forth so that this is a deep line here. And then come back in and just barely, very lightly bring some of that color out into the blue. lightly because this is such a, a deep color it goes on very quickly and very darkly so you do want to be careful so 
easier doing one side and then do the other side right away like oops because then you do it exactly the way that you did on the other side and, and that all works out much better really Since the other video is sideways and I can't get it turned, I'm just redoing it. I'm not going to let it frustrate me. <laughs> Starting a, a YouTube is not as easy as it sounds. You think it's going to be. There's lots and lots to it to learn. I still got so much to learn about it. But one thing they said is just get in there and do it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to learn as I go along and see how this works out. You know, I enjoy it because I am a by myself. I like it that way, though. And um, I, I'm so busy doing things that I don't get lonely. I go to church on Saturdays and Saturday night, our church rents a building. Seems to be happening a lot. So I, I get to see those guys. And uh, I have a friend that lives in front of me. I don't see him that often, but Every once in a while, we do something together, which makes it nice since my daughter lives far away. My best friend, Annie, lives far away now, and all my friends from Phoenix. I moved there for a while, and I had some really nice friends there. But you got to do what you got to do. I don't know what these little things are on his wings. Looks like to me little envelopes. <laughs> and she's the artist. She gets to pick what she puts on the butterfly. I am going to do those mushrooms on um, at least one of them or, and show you some of it, how I did did those in this book. I'm um, doing them for my daughter on a, a piece of um, vellum cardstock, which is supposed to be really good with your pencils. And... Um, I will show you how to do those mushrooms. Not the whole picture. They would take forever. Because they do take a while. Okay, now we need yellow. And... We did the yellow around. This side is easier since the other side's already done. I took this gold and put it in the inside. And then I took the blue. This time I'm leaving just a little bit of space there so you can see the blue a little better and just kind of went up and around and then yeah pink I 
hope you're enjoying this. When we get done, we're going to come back and, and do gel pen with the uniball or the pasta, whichever works the best, and, and put some of these dots in white. And then, uh, boy, I know I colored this in blue, but not much of it showed. But that's okay. You need you need to do what you need to do because if you don't, the more layers and the more colors, it just turns out so nicely. Oh, we did this yellow. Pink. And then blue. It was really pretty here today. I'm in Colorado. It was really pretty. I went to the store and I didn't even have to put a coat on. I just had my big old long sweater on today. And I was fine. It's been so cold this year. But we're getting there. You would think we wouldn't worry about any fires this year with all the snow that we've gotten, but we'll see. I hope not. It's crazy, huh? But then there's been a lot of flooding from the fires from the past. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that kind of stuff. It was just a wonderful day. Even though I had to make this video twice. But I think I played enough with my camera. I can tell when it's not going to film it sideways. The red letters are on the side. <laughs> At least that way I know now how, you know that went. So now, fuck. To this side. I was going to tell you about my pencil sharpener. I'd gotten an expensive, not an, ex my, my, uh, electric eraser. I gotten a more expensive one thinking it would last and it didn't even last a month before it's it started being weird. And so I went online cuz I have two um uh, I have a pencil eraser that is very small and I love it. But I saw this one and it's it's actually this gray, you pull that out, and it's got a little container, and it just slides in small. Or it's got a, a different container, and it holds the bigger ones. Let me see. Those are the small ones. So this is the little gray thing, and you stick your little racers in there. And you just keep pulling them up. When they go down, you just pull that out and pull them up. And see, same thing. And these are the bigger ones. So, different areas, you need different ones. So, I, I love this thing. But you got to make sure that you clean off the, off the edges, the, the top. I just usually run it on a piece of paper. And make sure that it's it's clean. Because if not, that some some of these pencils... Are more waxier than others, and and then you you got that on the end, and oh my gosh, it smears into your, and you cannot hardly get that off. So, even your white pencils, I use um, 
course, they all come with the white pencil. But this one here, the Druitt white Chinese pencil, look how fat that is. And for coloring and highlighting and burnishing, I love this one. I love this one very much. So I always buy a couple when I buy them anymore because things are hard to get. So when I get it, I I get a couple. <laughs> okay. All right, on this end, it seems like I did. I colored in. All the way to the end. Circle, circle, circle. Little circles in a small spot gets you where you need to go. And looks like we came all the way down into this. And then filled it in. Right around this little thing. Don't you love these colors? Do I keep saying that? <laughs> There's so much. Oh, so, some of the colorists have such beautiful colors that they've they've uh, mixed together, and uh, they're just beautiful. I watch, um, I have, I think, three of my favorite ones that I like to watch. And um, one of them, I don't think she's even doing it right now. I don't see anything new. She took a break. Uh, I think her name is Petra. Oh, she, I loved her. She was my very first one that I was like, Oh my gosh, I love the way she does her stuff. And the other one is Karen. I love the way she colors. She's She is an amazing artist. And she is an artist. So, she just sees things differently than... A normal person sees things and even if you're creative it's still it's like oh my gosh this lady you probably know who I'm talking about it's, I think her name is Kitty her online is Kitty starts with a Z something like that I'll have to look it up she is amazing Okay, now we're down to the bottom, and how much time did we, my goodness, we've almost been an hour, so we may have to do a short video and I wanted to show you how to do these and the little squares. They just make the picture. They just frame this thing in. I just, I just love it. It's so pretty. Sometimes I set up until, well, mostly, mostly now I'm up until midnight. Now I used to be in bed at nine o'clock. Like, okay, time to watch a movie. And now, I do take a nap, though. <laughs> I do. I, do I, I run out of steam. And I take a nap. But I'm 72, almost 73. And uh, I'm always...
always busy. My mom used to be that way. My daughter's that way. She's got a macrame business where she macrames these amazing wall arts and and she does everything. She used to have a crafts store where she would do things and also took a, took in uh, people uh, stuff on assignment. That was a beautiful store. She really did a good job. That's when toll painting was so um, popular. She, everything she does is amazing. She's an amazing daughter. I love her. Okay. So then we're going to go into the other colors here. So now all we need to do is do the yellow. The bottom is pink. I'm trying to keep these under an hour for you. I know sometimes it gets... Although a lot of the videos I start to watch and then I get tired and I will pick them up the next day. And uh, I know some of them are three and four videos long. Um, takes a, takes some three or four days of videoing to get these done because it does take a lot of time because it's relaxing you don't want to hurry through these you want you want to be relaxed and enjoy I think this worked out kind of good where I even though I did half of it on the video and <laughs> I got it, but it, it's just not, it's sideways. And it, it actually is, is okay. It's not, it's not bad because it, it's not any different than me turning my page. So I don't know. I'm learning. Okay, da, 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 da. and then we just got to go around that, and here, so pretty. Wow. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with these stars. Do I want to put gold stickle on it? Or do I want to color them? I'm not sure. I have not decided. So now we're going to go... Let's see, here we are over here. So, pink. Pink first. Let's move this book around a little bit. Then this one is pink. These these pencils do work well. There's they're not real waxy like the Prisma. I'm not saying anything bad about the Prisma because I love those too. And let's see, we're going to go yellow. Yellow, okay. And yellow. 
just keep thinking this looks like ice cream of some kind, sherbet or something like that. Okay, and now we're going to go to blue. It's getting pretty. It has to be a male because of his <laughs> colors. I wonder why God made it that way where the males are in the animal world, the insect world are so colorful and the, and the women are kind of plain. Maybe because they got the eggs and stuff, they hide better. I don't know. If anybody knows that, let me know. <laughs> because I don't know. It's just something totally different. Okay. Well, let's turn it around a little bit more. And now we just need to do this part. keep losing where I'm at. Okay. I mean, it'd be really pretty. You wouldn't even have to put this on there. I, I just wanted to because it'll match up with the other page. Or you could use a lighter color. So whatever color you're using. I think on the other page I did use a lighter, the lighter one, lighter lavender or something, a little bit, but this, this, this will work. I like it. As long as you like it. So I'll just find you three colors. Whatever those colors are. And if you don't have this book, I, you know, I, I quit buying books. I've got all the books I could possibly color. I think I have 25 books, which is kind of crazy. Um, but just find you something that's similar. That's how I got so many books is because I thought I've got to have this. Oh, I want to paint that picture. And uh, I gave that up. So you can find something similar. And these books aren't all that cheap. But I do have some fun ones that are like I think, what, $6 a piece? I'll have to do a little thing on those. I got a cat one. I got one from Africa. I love that one. I got an elephant one. That one has been fun. My friend and I have been coloring in that. Even though she lives in Phoenix, we do what's up and we can share things through that. That is a cool app. I like it better than Messenger, but most people have Messenger. Anybody that, if you get it, anybody who's on your, that has your, you put their phone number in your phone, um, will automatically show up 
that's on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. <laughs> it's WhatsApp. I always call it WhatsApp. Annie and I were doing some street ministry in Phoenix, and these ladies from this one place said, do you have this? No. So they got that on our phones, and then they could tell us what, what was happening. Um, and we just kind of stuck with it. We love it. Other friends are on it, too. Sometimes people just pop up. It's like, oh. They found what's up too. <laughs> what's up? Not what's up. Well, wow, we're almost done with this. I already showed you how I burnish, so I'm not going to. I'll do that offline. And then I will come back tomorrow. I think I figured this out and do a short video on, on uh, part two. And we'll do the flowers and um, this corner piece. And we'll decide what we're going to do, stickles or what, with the... Well, this is pretty much it. So my work for today is be kind. The world is full of people that are not kind. They're just angry and mean. Just um, smile. And people smile at them. And, they, and people are just like, let a man stop me in the grocery store. Well, if I'm going to tell you the story, I'm going to burnish a little. And it started a conversation. He says, you're the only person that has smiled at me. And I look at people since we got rid of those stupid masks and and I look at them in the face and I smile because I missed seeing people's mouth and seeing you know their eyes really what what are they you know thinking and what are they looking like and and so we just started up this conversation he was from out of town and he just wanted to thank me for, for a smile. So we have to remember to be kind to people. You know, it. most people, it is their nature to be kind to each other, I think. You know, just forget about the old stuff and just, just be kind to each other. It's... It, it's a time to come into a different kind of a world where we care about each other. Forget the old and make new friends. That was a brownie song. Does anybody remember that? Make new friends. One is silver, one is gold. Golly, I'm 72 years old. Am I two or three? Two. Okay. I always turn the year when I uh, when the year is almost ready to change. Then I I turn that. But oh. okay. What do you think? Was this was this um something that was interesting to you? Uh, I can see this needs to be a little darker because I darkened this, so I'm going to do darken that up um, offline. And then tomorrow I will um, do a short video on how we finish this up. Until tomorrow, I love you guys. And I think everybody is, is just amazing that you came and watched me and you listened to me and I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and uh, tell your friends subscribe and hit that bell the bell is so that when I post a video it will pop up on your YouTube uh, channel and if you give me a thumbs up it helps 
um, for other people to find me. It lets, it lets um, the YouTube know that people are interested in what I'm, I'm doing in my page. And um, just bless you. Have a good evening. Goodbye.